Hi guys, George here from Zero Pay Productions, and today on Skyrim Saturday Mods, we're taking a look at Rigmore of Cyrodiil by Rigmore. Rigmore of Cyrodiil is a sequel to one of my favorite quest mods, Rigmore of Bruma, which follows the tale of a young girl on the run from the Thalmor. One of the things that I loved about Rigmore of Bruma was the focus on characters and your relationships with them. And while there was a focus on how your actions would help save Tamriel, the mod still felt like a much more personal story, which is something I really love to see. While this mod is a sequel, you do not have to have played Rigmore of Bruma in order to play Cyrodiil. During the mod, you'll have dialogue options in which you can dictate what choices you would have made during the previous mod. As the name of the mod might imply, you will journey to many places within Cyrodiil, including Bruma and the Imperial City. The sheer size and scale of the mod for one person is nothing short of incredible. Speaking with the mod author, he recommends being at least level 30 and having the Whirlwind Sprint Shout unlocked. The mod assumes that you have defeated Alduin, but ignores the rest of Skyrim's quests and guilds. Rigmore of Cyrodiil will be available on PC for both Skyrim Legendary Edition and Skyrim Special Edition. I was lucky enough to get early access to the mod a few days before it went live for everyone, but I will be leaving a link to the mod in the description below once it's made public. But that's enough out of me. Let's get started. A blast from the past. Please, take a seat. Oh, alright. <laughs> blast from the past. Rumors are someone has been asking about you and wants to meet you in the Bannered Mare in Whiterun. Please, take a seat. Wait patiently? I'm not good at patient. Yes, Mom. I don't like that I can't see anything. I'm just looking at a corner of the room. Oh, hello, Sadia. You want a drink? Uh, what's on the menu? Depends. Are you thirsty? Hungry? Both. Pretty sure this is what I'm not what I'm waiting for. I'm I'm waiting for someone. Right, then. Oh. <gasps> hello there. Did you come to speak with me? Oh no, maybe not. Nope. <gasps> Greetings, Dragonborn. You don't know the trouble I've had finding you. Got a letter here for you. Special delivery. For me? You shouldn't have. Talk to Sethry. Sethry was in uh, Rigmore of Ruma. He helped you out what quite a it? bit. Tendril Sethry. Thief, disciple, messenger, mage, landlord, and now courier? How long has it been? <laughs> Too long, Dragonborn. Too long. I'd say by a whisker, four years. Four years, huh? Goddamn. So, if you've been sent to find me, this delivery must be very special indeed. For your eyes only, straight from Bruma. Don't suppose you've heard what's been going on in Cyrodiil these last couple of years? Not my problem. Oh, it's very much... I mean, no, it's not really my problem. I'm here in Skyrim, but um, maybe you could fill me in on what's going on. Not heard from young Rigmore, then? Not a word. I am guessing this letter is from her? Not this one. Although I do know Rigmore did try to write. Well, I never received anything. I just assumed she moved on with her life. You know, forgetting someone who was very important. Very helpful. Oh, look! Wait a second! Wait a second. Was that painting of, um, Bruma always there? I don't think so. That's a nice little touch right there. Look at that. Yeah, no, I figured she just moved on with her life, forgot about me, being probably one of the most important people in her life, saved her life and everything, you know, whatever. Yeah, well, the letters never got returned. So it's worth checking out if they're buried at the border post somewhere. Oh. You'll have to go there anyway, to acquire the pass from the official. Border post? <laughs> That's why they sent me. You better read this. Read the letter, then talk to Sethry. Sethry, I'm a little illiterate. If you could read it to me, that would be great. Wait, did I not get it? I don't know if I got it. That could be an issue. We have um, the Lakeview Manor Charter, Notice of Sale. It does, it does say read the letter, then talk to him, but I don't have a letter. So I suppose I will just talk to you. What are you staring? Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't see that right there. That Dragon is my bed. If you are reading this, then we have at last managed to find you. You must have heard of the recent events in Cyrodiil. And although some stability has returned, freedom has not. We must speak in private, and certain names have been omitted in this correspondence. But I am sure you know to whom I am referring. I'm not sure that I do. did try to write you. But you could not be located and gave up on ever seeing you again. I don't think she ever got over losing you. 
but she is fine and well and has moved on. You know her. Never one to sit still, always looking for trouble if it doesn't find her first. And trouble has found her. Of course she just waves it off, talks tough, and I do realize you have moved on with your life. But I have no choice but to contact you for help. We fear she is in grave danger, Dragonborn. Please come to visit us at our residence so we can talk further. Show the border guards the official pass. Sigan of Bruma. Ah, it's from her mom. Okay, I thought the voice sounded familiar. What kind of crap has she gotten herself into this time? These days, with the border locked down, it's near impossible to get anything through. You must get the official border pass to enter Cyrodiil. If anyone tells you otherwise, or offers a way over for coin, be wary of them. Very wary. As if you decide to respond, of course. Noted. But I think I'll need... Uh, but I'll need to think about it a while. Don't worry. I'll get the pass. Must be like a blast from the past, right? Man, you you never get sequels to mods. Like, I, I can probably count on one hand the number of times mods have gotten a full proper sequel. So this is exciting to me. I would love to see more of that from now on. Just mod authors making sequels to their own mods and just creating these overarching stories and everything like that. It's, it's fantastic. I love the idea of it. Not a new concept, but that's just me. Have you seen Rigmore lately? Do you know how she's getting on? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, <clears throat> all will be revealed, Dragonborn. All will be revealed. It really is a blast from the past. Why is it I feel my stomach churn every time you say that? <laughs> Let's see. Foreboding? That's one word for it. That's it. Yes, foreboding. As in something bad is about to happen. I'm sure it's nothing you can't handle. Must be important. Seeing as you ain't had no contact with anyone from back then in a foo. Just keep your weapon in your pocket and try not to whip it out. You'll be fine. You're joking, right? Cyrodiil ain't like here. They's all civilized. Got a big thing about it, apparently. But something ain't right. I can feel it in me water light. There was nothing civilized about what I saw crossing the border. What did you see, Sethry? Just you make sure that you keep a cool head. You'll see. Continue the conversation. So, tell me, what have you been up to since I last saw you? Oh, bit of this, bit of that. Still living at the old farmhouse on the lake. It was a nice house. I tried renting one of the rooms to make a bit of coin, but they don't stay long. I don't know why. Oh, yep, there you go. I can think of a few reasons. Yeah, I remember he just walked in naked to the house one time because he lent us his house to stay in, but uh, he was just farting a ton and he was naked and it was a little awkward for everyone involved. There, there were women around. You gotta show a little class. As it happens, I'm going on a kind of pilgrimage to Winterhold, to the shrine of my mistress, Azura. There's a pretty young thing there has took a bit of a shine to me. Around here, her name is. Aww. So I'll be taking my leave and seeing as how far I can get my feet under the table with Miss Lanith and try warming her up a bit. Okay, it was a little sweet until he said that. With a bit of luck, I'm hoping to coax her down from the mountain and into me little old farm. It sounded a little sweet for a little bit, but I should have known better. Well, good luck with that. It's good to see you again, Sethry. Likewise, Dragonborn. Likewise. It's good to see you too again, my friend. Now then, my part in this is done. And I have a date with destiny. So until next time, Dragonborn. Man, now I want to see if, if he actually gets to romance his lady friend or not. I wonder if that comes up later. <laughs> Guess we'll see. I'm also just curious now. It's like there's so many different characters that I hope pop up during the course of this. I almost said DLC just because, I don't know, it almost feels like DLC quality right now. Border region. Oh, and it's already marked on my map. Isn't that lovely? So for those of you watching who are worried about compatibility with mods like, say, uh, Beyond Skyrim uh, Bruma, and well, I was going to say Beyond Skyrim Cyrodiil, but that's not out yet, but in regards to Beyond Skyrim Bruma, uh, the mod author for Rigmore of Cyrodiil has mentioned that he is working on a uh, patch. I'm not sure if it'll be available day one since the mod 
isn't out at the time of me recording this, but I know that uh, he's working on it so that pretty much you don't need to worry about uninstalling uh, Bruma or anything like that. That way you can have both games installed. It might just take a little bit of um, the immersion out for you personally if you have two different versions of Serial in your game, if that makes any sense. I'm concerned now. Oh, no. Here he comes. Always run into me. Looking across the border, friend. The price is 100 gold. Uh, I'm here to collect an official pass. No need for that. Could take hours. A few coin and you'll be over the border in no time. He just throws me over the border. He's like, there you go. Is this a shakedown? Nah, I'm just trying to do you a favor, friend. Oh, we're friends now? Is that it? I don't think so. Ooh. Uh, provincial border post. I like it. I like the little sign. Sarmenti, my dear, please. I'm trying my best. Hopefully I can get a new appointment somewhere else in the Empire. Okay, let's just take a seat. Well, your best is not enough. We have been stuck out here for nearly two years. How much longer do I have to put with those beasts outside? Everything is going to be just fine. <clears throat> The way they look at me, it's only a matter of time. What are you going to do about it? I'm in fear for my life. Oh, Sarmenti. Someone's over here. Oh, who's this? Should I have knocked? Are you it's in a bad need time. Of some assistance? Talk to the official. Yeah, you have uh, some border guards who are trying to get me to well bribe met. them outside. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I'm here to collect an official border pass to cross the border into Cyrodiil. And no, I'm not paying your goddamn extortion fees. Ah, you must be... Uh, one moment. It's like, yeah, you must be... Oh, the Dragonborn? I don't know. You want to let me in or not? Yes, Captain Grimbald of the Bruma Garrison informed us you would probably be coming. No one gets into Cyrodiil without an official pass. I mean, apparently, no one gets into Skyrim without an official pass either, hence the start of Skyrim, where you get arrested. This one is signed by the House of Bruma. Be sure to show it to the new Imperial Guards when asked. Provincial Border Pass. Uh, one thing that the mod does, similar to how Rigmore Bruma does it, is they mark all of the notes with, uh, in the case of Rigmore Bruma, ROB, or Rigmore Cyrodiil, ROC, just so that you don't kind of lose track of the notes that you get from the mod. So it might not look the nicest in your menu, but it really makes it easier to keep track of, oh, this note is from this mod versus this is a vanilla note or from another mod or DLC that I'm using. Provincial Border Pass, Border Pass issue number 3009, dated 4000, yeah, fourth era, year 205. This document is to certify the holder is permitted full and free passage to the province of Cyrodiil and the Empire, and that the holder has acknowledged to uphold the law at all times. Is it like a green card? What is it? Yes. New Imperial Guards. Have you not heard? A lot of changes have recently occurred in Cyrodiil. The Emperor is very serious on immigration control and is quite ruthless in his implementation of zero tolerance. To not be in possession of an official document can be, how shall we say, fatal? What if I just constantly get asked by guards, like, hey, you got a pass, and I just have to show them my pass all the time? The guards outside didn't seem serious, even offered to open the gate for coin. Those guards are nothing more than criminal scum and people traffickers. They would wave you through for coin, knowing how it would end, like it has for so many others. Those poor souls. Want me to take care of them? I mean, they're still guards, so I probably shouldn't. Let's just say I have seen them letting whole families through the gates. Men, women, children. All hoping for a new life, only to end up bloody frozen rags in the snow. It's quite sad. They are actually meant to be here to turn away the economic migrants and protect me as a diplomatic service. The new Imperial border guards are, shall we say, more robust in their duties. It's the pass. Your friends had good cause to make sure you adhere to the official channels. What can I say? I have friends in high places. Is there anything else 
I should need to know before I leave? Cyrodiil is a civilized province. Acts of aggression against any citizen are met with extreme prejudice. In some cases, entire families can be held responsible by the actions of one. As you now officially represent the House of Bruma, need I go on? Uh, sounds a little bit extreme if you ask me. Or sounds about right if you ask me. I don't know about holding the whole family responsible, but I understand having a no tolerance for, you know, violence or anything. Of course, you can defend yourself, and people do carry weapons in case of the odd renegade or wild animal. But you'll find those inconveniences virtually eradicated apart from the border regions, so please act accordingly to the law. Before you leave, do you require any further assistance? With all the emphasis on how much you have to uphold the law, I'm willing to bet there's going to be a part where you don't have any choice but to attack someone, break the law, and possibly get in trouble. I was told you might have some letters for me here. Do you know the name of the sender? Uh, mm, uh, Rickmore of Bruma? Uh, one moment. Also, I feel like I could just ask for, hey, do you have any mail for me in general? And he could just check to see if I had any mail at all, whether it's from Rigmore or not. Uh, hmm. Aha. Here's one. Just one? I was expecting a whole stack. I mean, I guess I never wrote back to Did her, so... mid-2002? Almost four years ago. Well, then. Man, Let me I th check to see if there's any more in the back room. And I thought I was bad with responding to emails sometimes. Four hey, years. Dragonborn. It's so weird being back in Bruma again. I was trying to figure out how long it had been since... Well, since me and Mom were taken from our home. Must be about five years, but it seems like a... A lifetime. Things are totally so different now, but Bruma is just how I remembered it. Life within the keep is taking a bit getting used to. The Great Hall is really intimidating and freaks me out. But I'm trying so hard to meet the demands expected of me. As a... Countess? <laughs> he, yeah, right. <laughs> Did you know Malisam is here? He's such a total ass. It's my duty to protect the descendants of blah blah blah, and is always totally in my face. At least Carice has my back. We've become quite close lately, and I don't know what I would do without her. She's so cool. There's this old guy here called Freathoff, a scholar. He used to tutor the late Countess's daughter, and now tutors me, don't laugh, on etiquette and how to be more ladylike. <laughs> Whatever. Like, Countess Rigmore of Bruma. I still think of you and miss you so much. Aww. I know I was way too clingy. I hope that isn't why you haven't come to see me already. Aww. I don't mean those things I said, and I hope you don't hold that against me and come visit me soon. I would really like that. I feel so bad now. Have to go now. They're calling me to the hall to sort out some dog and chicken thing. A local dispute as is part of my duties. Don't leave it too long, Dragonborn. It's been too long already. Love always, Rigmore. I am going to put a uh, a card in the video so anyone watching this who hasn't watched Rigmore Bruma yet on my channel can go and check it out because I feel like for you to get the emotional response that is intended from the mod, it helps to have seen the original mod and that relationship between the player character and Rigmore. Uh, there is a choice whether you romance her or you say, oh, I see you as a daughter, or I see you as a little sister. And I always chose uh, the I see you almost as a daughter sort of relationship with her. But I feel really bad, because she does seem to just think that you've abandoned her, or that you just don't care to see her. Where in reality, I haven't gotten this note from four years ago. It's like, how would you feel if this person that you loved and cared about for four years just did not write back did not show up. It sounds Here like they just go. forgot about you. God damn. I also like that all the notes are voiced over. There's just one more dated early 203. So that's one year after. So three years ago then. Dear Dragonbore. Oh. Thanks for blanking my last letter. Oh. If you can't be bothered to come down to see me, then at least write back. Mm -mm. How hard is that? 
You are so not going to believe this, but the crap has totally hit the fan over here in Cyrodiil. Some badass bandit king has taken the citadel, and I've been advised by Freathoth and Malisand to declare Bruma a free city. They totally burned and trashed Leowin, and oh. the nobles are all bummed out, calling for a peace treaty as I write. If you try to come over the border, be careful. The whole of Cyrodiil is pretty much in a state of anarchy. Everyone's running around like headless chickens. It's actually quite invigorating, and I'm loving it. Malasam had to sit down due to heart palpitations. He was like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I totally cried laughing. Oh, poor Caris. Although I would feel a lot safer if you were around. Oh. How's the dragon thing going? We don't get much news out here, but rumor is you saved the world again, right? Dragonborn, when are you going to come and save me? You said you were going to come get me. Are you letting me go? I'll understand if that's what you want, but... You need to let me know. I'm in a kind of limbo with nowhere to turn. If I don't hear from you after you get this letter, I'll know where I stand, but I want you to know I will never forget you, and I will always love you. Rigmore. This is heartbreaking. This is, man, this is pulling on my heartstrings if I had any, if I was a human being, which, I mean, I am. I, this is actually really... Really sad to hear it. And it even starts off with her trying to be cold. Her trying to have this sort of emotional detachment saying, hey, we could use your help. And then saying it's like, I need your help. Also, I got the dates wrong. This would have been, what, a year ago, I think? Because they, either one or two years ago, because I think they said that it's 205 right now. I believe. Oh, all right. Sit on down, sir. What is it? Well met. These letters are years old. She must think I ignored them. Why were they not returned? Uh, there's been a lot of changes, especially over these last few years. We received a lot of undelivered correspondence dating back years when we set up this border post. You must remember the last letter was sent during a most unsettling time. The good news is Cyrodiil is experiencing growth and stability since the new administration. More so after the expulsion of the Thalmor and the possible reinstation of the Nine throughout the Empire. Wait, what? I am sure your stay will be most pleasant and enlightening. And there's one more thing. This was left for you, too. <gasps> is it a sword? Please let it be. Oh, that's what I was hoping. Oh, Zura's Bane. Best weapon. Oh, oh, I need a... Okay, I, I, I need to... Need to improve it. Oh, no, it's still a... A two-handed. Uh, definitely need to improve it, though. It was super overpowered in uh, the first mod. So it's not as powerful as my weapons now, but goddamn, does it feel nice to have that back. Yes? So, what's the next step? Are you ready to continue? Okay, I'm ready to continue. After I've killed these guards, I just need to grab a few things. I don't want to kill the guards. I know that they're... Shitty, but I also feel like attacking official guards is not the correct course of action. Especially when I've just been told, hey, behave yourself. Excellent. Please follow me. Show the pass to the new Imperial Guards on the Cyrodiil side of the border. Keep it safe. You'll need it to travel freely between the provinces. Oh, can I just go through the door then, or do I go through... Oh, oh there's an invisible wall right there. Uh, one more thing. Oh, okay. Whatever I have you to talk see to down there first. on the border, please remain calm and remember what I said about who you represent now. Ah, enjoy your stay. I feel so bad for Rigmore. She thinks I've abandoned her. It's not my fault. There are all these other mods. They took up my time. They took up years of my time. I didn't know you needed my help, Rigmore. It's not much of an excuse. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Completed. A blast from the past. Ride. Boy. Hey, boy. One thing I want to see is I want to see if there is a new map. Oh, yeah, no. She made a new... There is a new map and everything. Jesus Christ. Is this everywhere that I can go? In... 
in the mod was all of this really made and is all of this really explorable if this is then that is ridiculous uh, I do remember reading in the mod development that there were set pieces so I'm not sure if all of it's going to be explorable as in I can walk from place to place some places might be blocked off some places you might have to fast travel to specifically or take like boats or uh, carriages and stuff but still even if they're all just different set pieces and you have to travel to and from them just via carriage and everything, that's still a lot of different places to explore, and I am ecstatic right now. I am absolutely ecstatic. And I'm curious what we're going to see on the way to Bruma. It's also just kind of cool to see the different interpretations of um, the region, seeing how uh, the mod author Rigmore interprets Cyrodiil versus how the team for Beyond Skyrim interprets the Cyrodiil. Because in Beyond Skyrim Bruma, the first thing you see when you come through the border post is uh, an Imperial Fort. And now we have a bit more of a, not desolate per se, but a bit more of a abandoned stretch leading between the two border posts and everything. Which makes a little bit of sense because in Cyrodiil, or in Cyrodiil as it's portrayed in Oblivion, there's a little bit more of a... Um, just kind of like desolate stretch as well, leading up to where the border post would be. Okay, and this is the little um, campsite from the very end of Rigmore of Bruma, where you say goodbye to Rigmore and she heads down into Cyrodiil itself. I'm also excited for the soundtrack because Rigmore of Bruma had a fantastic soundtrack. It had original songs, original. Um, well, just more ambient soundtracks as well, so... There's a lot of things that I really, really enjoyed about Rigmore of Bruma, and I'm excited to see all of those things uh, return in this mod, because it has been a work in progress for a while now, and I wasn't sure when we'd see it released uh, for a little while, but hearing that it would be released this year was really, really incredible. The border's closed. What business do you have here? Ooh, new armor! I'm here to visit Bruma in official business. Oh, unofficial business. I have a pass. Let me see. I like it because they have more. I mean, there was plenty of Roman esque style armor in Skyrim. Okay, all seems in order. But it makes sense that they would have their own variant but of the armor I as well. I warn you to keep your weapon sheathed, and any acts of violence will be met with the full force of the law. You may, of course, defend yourself if you are attacked, but those are the rules. Open the gates. You got it. Alright. No violence. Self-defense is okay. Makes sense. We are gonna raise the music volume a little bit. Just a little. Just a smidge. Because I'm enjoying it. That's good. I'll lower it if I find that it overpowers voice acting too much, but... Oh! Uh, excuse me, why is there blood on the ground right here? Move along quickly. There's nothing here that concerns you. There's nothing here that concerns me? What? What's going on? I'm sorry, sir, but I see blood. I see what looks like a dead body over there. Can I please ask? Yes. Oh, no. Yeah. Hmm? Oh! Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm backing up, I'm backing up, I just... Huh? Okay, okay, do not... Do not get in trouble two seconds after you've crossed into Cyrodiil. They did warn me to back off, the guy drew his weapon on me, so yeah, let's... Back off, but now you definitely see that they were not kidding when they said that the new Imperial Guard is... Really, really putting down anyone without a border pass. Okay. Hey, you represent Bruma? I just come in and immediately start pissing off the Empire. Not the best idea. I'm just sitting and enjoying the music. Uh, this track in particular reminds me a little bit of... Some music from Fable 2, just the start of Fable 2. And Fable 2 was an incredible game, absolutely loved it, and it's almost very fitting because Fable 2 takes place 
you know, in the winter, in the cold, snowing and everything in Bowerstone. So it is kind of like an, a possibly unintentional homage slash uh, little connection. I don't know if I'm the only one making that connection, but it was what my mind went to immediately. Oh, <gasps> oh, there's Bruma. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious to see how Bruma looks in this versus how it looks in um, Beyond Skyrim Bruma. I think Beyond Skyrim Bruma did a fantastic job with it, but this also looks really, really nicely done. And is that an open, is that an open gate? Are there open cities in this? Are there really going to be open cities in this mod? Oh, no, never mind. Never mind, that's my bad. Oh, alright, hi, sir. Hi. Welcome to the free city of Bruma. Uh, I have a pass, don't worry. <laughs> no need for that here, friend. Oh, okay. Whew. I'm here to see the Countess. She might hate my guts, but um, I'm here to see her regardless. Go through the gates, turn right, and follow the road to the blacksmith. There's a stable there if you need one. Go up some stone steps, the keep is right in front of you. You can't miss it. Welcome to Bruma. I like that the Bruma guard's armor is very reminiscent of Skyrim guard armor, which I guess culturally makes sense because of just the proximity to Skyrim itself. Oh! Oh, I was right. Open cities. Holy shit, I was not expecting that at all. That might not love some people's games. Oh god, what was that? What is that? Oh no, oh no, we found a graphical glitch. Okie dokes. It only seems to happen in certain spots, like it was over here when I'm standing here, but as I got further into the city, it went away. Um... I'll make sure to make a note of that and let the mod author know. <laughs> Need something? Yes. Uh, so far, yes. The mod author has. Oh, there it is again. There. Okay. There it goes. Still happens in third person too. I don't know what that is. I have never seen that before. I've never seen that in a mod before. Oh God! All right, it's following me. It's following me. Um, yeah, I don't know what that is. We can go to the Fighters Guild. Okay. Design-wise, it's very similar to uh, the layout of... I mean, the layout of Bruma should be pretty much the same across both interpretations of Need Bruma. Across okay. both mods. So that makes sense. But still, it's interesting to see. Okay, 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 dokes. Okay, dokes. Is it coming specifically from that one person? Because it looks like yeah. it's... It almost looked like it was... Coming from Tish the Blade. What's up? Oh, whose mouth? I can see through their mouth. Hey. Uh, yeah. From what I understand, by the time that I'm recording this, or at the time mm -hmm. I'm recording this, the mod author has oh. played through the uh, version for Skyrim Classic Edition, but not necessarily all the way through for Special Edition. Um, it was ported over just after checking everything in uh, the normal edition, so it's possible there are some bugs, some glitches, such as that one, but... Other than that, it really doesn't seem like there are too many issues. There haven't been any issues with quest triggers or anything. It's absolutely coming from that person's mouth. I mean, look at it. It's just spawning out of their mouth. It's whenever I'm looking at them. 